Hi there, my name is Mohammed. Today I would like to discuss about the assembler algorithm. So this algorithm or this model basically use different model, uh, the machine learning different model, and then you combine all of them and give you the best accuracy. So let's see, as you can see right here, the assembler classification, what I'm going to show you the one that can use volts bagging and also add a post so the vote has the votes model has a very strong learner and it requires take, taking care of the model it is like a hybrid decision uh, decision boundary and when it come to the bagging this is kind of decision tree and it reduce the variance that's why we use bagging and the add a post it lower your bias it is a worker, a weak learner, and a lower the bias. So we need to be careful also in overfitting or high variance. So like, let's say if you just use bagging, you may get some benefit from it, but you're not gonna have a good accuracy. But if you add all of those models and you that this time in one uh, assembler model or algorithm classification, then your classification, your prediction of the true value will be very high. Let me take you quickly to the Rapid Miner Studio here, the one that I built for uh, a data, especially for the uh, German credit report. So I have connected my data using the retrieve operator. I said it all. So why you said it all? Because the credit rating is good, and you specified that it is a it is a level. And then I have used a multiply operator. So what does the multiply operator? It creates a copy of rapid minor object. So you have the data and it creates that object. And this operator takes the rapid minor object from the input port, the one that we have, the input port, and it copy it to the output port. So you will have, you see, multiple outputs. Like for example, I have now, now three outputs. If I wanna have more outputs, you can connect, you can connect. So once you use this one, I'll have another output. Then, what I have right here is the bagging validation. I have the bagging and I have voting and boosting validation. So for the bagging validation, if you double click on the bagging, you will come up here with a new window or with a new screen that has a training and testing. So for bagging, I have used the bagging operator and also under testing, you need to apply the model and you will measure the performance, the performance. And when it comes to the second one, which is voting, so in the voting, you have the voting operator, you apply the model, and also you check the voting performance. When it comes to the boosting, the same thing, you double click here, and you have the ADA boost. So basically, this is a very good operator, which is the ADA boost, which implement the ADA boost algorithm, and it can be used with all learners available in the rapid minor. So this Adaboost, it's a meta algorithm which can be used in a conjunction with many other learning algorithms to improve your performance. Perfect, and here under testing, you apply the model and then you can measure the performance. Let's go ahead and run and see uh, what the performance we can have the best performance we can have so as you can see right here the accuracy uh, for this the german credit is 68.7 with plus or minus 3.89 so what you can learn from here the accuracy is the overall the overall quality of your prediction and if you are looking here class specific the class preci uh, precision which is class specific you have 70 Point four prediction for true and 46 percent prediction for false so I, I personally like the accuracy because it can tell you the overall the overall quality of your performance your your model so you can go ahead and see the description it will give you the same thing with a little explanation on it awesome so this is what we call it the assembler this is what we call it the assembler so you are using different models to best predict an algorithm i hope you guys get 
good understanding of from my presentation if you have any question let me know until then have a great day bye